Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and Hydroneer has its first major big O update from the developer Max. He has said that there is so much new and there's so much to show you in this new update. So if you're ready to see more, make sure you click tap blow up and destroy that like button and let me know you want to see more Hydroneer. Thank you everyone for being here. We have ourselves some new gems that can be cut with the gem cutter and there's uh, tool racks and there's corks to block pipes and there's so much to do. It is awesome. So thank you very much, everybody, for showing your support and being here every time. You guys are amazing. We've been uh, constructing our house in the previous update. I built everything out of corrugated steel, and you can hear some beautiful music in the game now. And we got our truck with the reloading section, and we've got a mine going. And, of course, I wanted to show you all what was new before we get it all set up and fully operational. There are so many new things in this game, and I'm just super excited to see it all come to fruition. Check this out. We have ourselves a little miner hat now that we can actually wear which is pretty cool, so if we uh, press Q to wear it, boom, we can pop it on here and look and uh, turn our light on underground, which is really helpful for whenever we're doing underground mining. We won't have to worry about lighting anymore. There's also a uh, new uh, filter system, or rather a funnel, so that way we can take a bucket, dump it in the crucible that'll be placed below. I've constructed this kind of stand here, so that way things can be dumped into the crucible and then brought into the fire. The crucible itself is even bigger now, and there's more stuff to buy at the store, including a new store as well. So let's go ahead and buy some new stuff over at the store. I'm actually going to pull out of here real quick and gonna go to the furniture store and see what we can see and see if we can get some new stuff into the house. So Hydroneer, of course, your billion dollar mining game. You can make so much money in this game through all this stuff. Check it out. Somebody here made an awful mess. I think that was Max, probably. Ugh, look at all those conveyor pieces. We got a wonderful conveyor set up underneath the uh, mine, but we're gonna need ourselves the, um, yeah, our money, our Hydro coins, so that way we can go back and uh, buy some stuff from the store. So there's a few new things available at the base store, including the grinding wheel, which you'll use to uh, start grinding gems now once you find them. Uh, new models for the lighting and all sorts of new exciting stuff, including a new way to fish. There's actually fish traps now that you can drop into the water, and you'll be able to get that amongst the uh, new tool racks and some other things that you've got in the basic shop. There's also the other shop down the road. Uh, that has some new stuff, as well as a uh, new thing called the, uh, the oh, I forget exactly what it's called, the Goliath Pump. There was actually one on our platform that goes deep underground to do some mining and basically mines straight down. But a lot of that stuff I've got operational elsewhere. We're doing stuff by hand here at this uh, initial base. My God, but the vehicle is still icy, I must say. I've loaded this truck up earlier too, and boy, oh boy, does it go wild. So if you've not yet seen Hydroneer before, there are tons and tons of videos on my channel of it, so make sure you check the channel for all the videos on Hydroneer and all the crazy live streams. I'll be live streaming this one later today too, as the update is finally available. Remember, this game comes out on May 8th, so if you have not yet followed me on Instagram or Twitter, make sure you do yourself a big favor and follow me on Instagram or Twitter for a chance to win this game when it comes out on May 8th for Steam or wherever else it might be being sold. Max is selling this game, by the way, for like, uh, I think $9 or something like that. Oh my god, my driving is atrocious. I was actually going to drive the other way, but yeah, this game is being sold for like $9.99 or like uh, $10.99. So this is definitely a game that I think you'll want to pick up. Here is the other vehicle that we have. I bought all the things in the game. I just have yet to uh, operate all the mining sites. So sometimes in this game, by the way, keep in mind, it's easier sometimes to stop the truck by plowing into a rock than it is to hit reverse, back up, and do all that. So sometimes uh, bopping in the stuff has been my new driving technique. There's also another truck you can buy in the game. So you can have two trucks if you want to drive things back and forth from different stores. And uh, let's get into town now and take a look at what's new. Well, first of all, we have a new scrapyard here. So that scrapyard there, you can drop stuff off on a platform and it'll actually burn it and give you money back for it. And that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and check inside of the uh, uh, housing area here. So there's a few new things, including stairs, which we saw before. There's the fishing pots that allow you to uh, f catch fish, as well as thatch roofs and different types of wall parts. So it's going to be really cool to see what all this stuff does. Typical windows and wood foundations and stuff are here too, as well as a large door doorway. That's why the door is missing out my thing. They got rid of the doors and uh, put in some new stuff. But now, we have a new furniture store, and I wanted to decorate my house just a little bit. My house isn't too big, and I don't want it to be too big because, you know, it's kind of just a small house to, it's really like a little workshop that I sleep at. But here at uh, Faux Bricks Fancy Furniture, I believe, we have tons of stuff here, including an actual, like a throne. Yeah, we have our throne, $14,000 for that. Uh, we've got some fancier beds, much better stuff than what I had before, cots and whatnot. Carpets, nice, very good. And, of course, we can throw it all here. We've also got mounts for the trophies and areas to store all of our stuff. So let's grab a safe, maybe two, before we go back. 
And uh, I think we can stack these on top of each other here. So let's get two of these. And then we'll grab ourselves a plinth. Basically a pedestal to like display your gems and jewels. Let's grab our money too. And uh, there we go. Okay, I think we'll buy a fancier bed too. Throw that onto the little uh, platform here. Whoa, everything goes wild. All right, let's see if we can drop all this stuff here. Get on there now. Come on, you all got to behave now. All right, oh, that'll actually be perfect. Boom, 709 bucks for those, not bad. And then a throne too. Oh, there's uh, deers and golden head statues. Lots of nice stuff. Oh, a fancy table too. I love how you can buy everything in this game. It's so nice. We can actually put some good stuff on display. So now I can get rid of some of the foundation pieces that I'm using and actually decorate my house a bit more. Now, usually it's cool to show off the the million dollar giga factory, the gem, the automatic gem sorter factory, and we've done those things before too. Again, check the channel for all that stuff. But now it's the time to improve our homes and actually build like nice house stuff. That's why Max has all this new fancy furniture here. Max is fancy furniture, boy oh boy. All right, now the other thing I want to do is see if we have enough money to buy a throne. We have probably a little, yeah, we're a little short on the money needed for a throne, 14,000, but that's kind of like an end game thing. There's also a fishing trophy uh, thing there. So we'll have to go fishing too and see if we can get that stuff going. So let's load our money back. We still have one more safe to grab from the uh, place here. There we go. And that should be good enough. We'll grab the throne another time. I need to build a bigger house though. One problem I've seen though is that you're actually able to move the truck now by uh, doing that. So that's not good. Don't, definitely don't want that to happen, especially when you're trying to load something into the back of the truck. But again, this is kind of like an early update before Max has actually released it. So even though you're watching this on the 24th, it is uh, going to be released uh, and updated in a few days from now. So there's plenty of time for improvements. And there's the scrapyard where you can basically drop off anything and uh, have it uh, basically turned into scrap. Oh, good. We'll take the shortcut here. Perfect. Actually, I wonder if I can get up here. Uh-oh. Okay. I will see you guys back at the house. All right, time for some fancy home improvements. I've been working so much on, like, building a storage area for all my stuff and all these automatic miners and things. Here, here's the uh, upgraded uh, Goliath miner, too, by the way, the Goliath drill. I didn't show you inside the other shop, but uh, there's definitely a bunch of new stuff in there, too. Most of which we already own or already have laid out somewhere on the map. So let's go ahead and start upgrading the house. So we'll need to grab our hammer now, wherever I put that, and then we'll need to uh, basically start locking down... And, unlocking some of these new pieces cool thing is here uh, with this wooden foundation I can actually put stuff up on it too so if I'm trying to get stuff like off the uh, off the uh, driveway I can do it that way and with a little bit more finesse of course let's take our money inside there's some lovely new music added to Hydroneer now too so that's really cool let's grab ourselves uh, a hammer now let's see Ooh, should probably put this thing down there we go we'll hammer that down and get that set up another time but for now, I want to grab myself a hammer. Oh, I have my brushes laid out over there, too. Very nice. Let's see where we got our hammer. There it is. Whoa. Except now it... Fl <laughs> Whoa. All right. Things are definitely getting some extra kick in this game whenever you pick stuff up. So let's go ahead and try to put the brush down over here and see if I can find myself the hammer again, wherever that went. I've had stuff fly around before, so this recent update has made it so that way things have a little bit bigger and more aggressive hitbox than before. Oh boy, where did my hammer go? Oh boy. All right, I got an idea. We'll go over to the shop and see if we can buy another one. We'll grab some cash, and I'll find that hammer later. Kind of good idea to have multiple tools just in case. You never know. Everybody owns a couple of hammers, maybe one for the garage and one for the house. Tack hammers for putting up pitchers and another one for hammering in deck nails, that type of thing. All right, so let's grab ourselves one of these wonderful little hammers, wherever it happens to be. Ah, there it is. Perfect. Our construction hammer. Excellent. Yeah, it's a good idea to have another one of those. I'll keep it in the other uh, storage area. Oh, look at how nice the house looks, by the way. I really like the house. Even though I built it, this is an early uh, house, too, by the way. So some of the things are, like, glitching out. Some of the panels you can see are glitching through the wall. But I like it. And Max did a really good job of making this update stable. For as many things that changed, not too many things have broken. Some games, for example, uh, you have to uh, restart completely. Like when we play Surviving the Aftermath, for example. Oh, it's cool. Max shows a little nail, too, in the top to show you that things are actually locked down. That's kind of cool. Or that's the top of that, uh, uh, it's the top of the light there that got glitched out. All right, we'll move those pieces out, and we will move a fancy table in. We can now start putting our gems, for example, over there. So we do have gems over here. Probably a good idea for me to keep these here. It kind of just looks like a bunch of dirt. But uh, as you can see, I'll be able to replace stuff with the fancy table instead. And that'll kind of look nice. Though it clashes with my design. So let me put the table somewhere else. Let's maybe put it over over here. That'll be fine. 
Perfect, and we'll put all of our gems there. And we'll hammer these back into position. Cool. All right, let's see if we can get that other light up here, too. Now, we'll grab the hammer, and we'll get the light back up. And there we go. Perfect. And we'll also... There we go. See if we can get... Oh, was it not nailed down? Oh, there's a shard hanging out there, too. Those shards are pretty good for the uh, backpack. I'll have to find where my backpack is, too. I know that was around here somewhere. Oh, no! It must have fallen through the world again, too. Darn it, now i got to buy another backpack. Everything that falls through the... Uh, into the into the ground can actually be mined up again. You just got to go find it, which is fine with me. All right, let's go ahead and put this one here. I love how you can clip things together. It lets you make really unique ideas and designs. So let's go ahead and get this bed out of the way. So we'll go sell this old bed. We'll bring it to the old scrapyard. Collect on that mattress again, and then let's go ahead and put our new bed over here. We'll rotate and plop it in right there under the window. That's beautiful. And then we'll get ourselves some safes. And I wonder if we could stack the safe on, on top of the table. I guess not. Let's take this safe and rotate it. Nice. How do you open the safe, by the way? Do you have to do a combo lock or something? Oh, I guess not. Okay, well, it's a good place to hide our hydro coins. That's for sure. Stores gold bars for safekeeping. Iron and gold bars. Nice. Safekeeping. Haha. <laughs> see what Max did there? What a genius. Talented. All right, let's see. I also want to put our plinth down, so let's put that over here. And we'll start nailing things down. Don't forget to do that. Otherwise, you're going to accidentally click on something all the time like I do. Just to force a habit. And let's grab ourselves a uh, the map there. There it is. All right. And we'll put that over here, too. Set it right up on the wall. Perfect. All right. Some minor home upgrades since I'm not building a new house. Much easier to build a home now. Before, I had to move every one of these pieces by hand. And now that you can buy wall sections, now you can buy a thing that's like 3x3. Three so you can fill a six-block area with one purchase. Might still take you a few trips with the truck, but it's much more uh, easier done. All right, let's go ahead and put the bed into the back here. Let's bring this thing over to the uh, over to the uh, the smelter the next day, the scrapyard. And I'm also going to put our hammer here in the tool rack. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so uh, let's see. I think everything's good for now. I've got everything I want for now. Let's go ahead and do some smelting while we wait. Ooh, hot, hot. Oh, I might actually... Uh, might be a good idea to uh, make that section under there out of concrete. But, of course, I'm always upgrading my house. Always doing new stuff. And I love it. All right, let's try to get all these pieces in here and make a big old gold bar. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> all right, I guess it didn't work as well as I was hoping it would. It's probably fine. One, pe one piece at a time, please. Oh, boy. I'm going to need to get a plunger or a mop handle. Okay, some of these pieces are too big, I think. There it goes. Okay. All right, well, that's going to have to be updated. But you get the idea of a funnel. I think it's actually easier to dump it in there with the bucket for now, but it makes it a little easier to pick up. Now, the uh, crucible is a little bit bigger, too, but unfortunately, some of these gold pieces are huge, and I made a whole mess. It's it's like if you've ever dumped popcorn on your uh, kitchen floor before on accident. Unfortunately, I don't have a dog to come up and uh, pick it up. I don't even have a chicken dino either, which is an uh, interesting concept. Wow, look at all this gold. <laughs> this is awesome to see. My my biggest, craziest mess in this happened. Wow. Okay, cool. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and see if we can head on back to the scrapyard and burn this thing. But we'll do it tomorrow morning. I'll just leave the uh, living room a mess. It's not like I got bad neighbors or something like that. Oh, of course, we got to actually nail the bed down and left-click to sleep in it. All right, let's wait for daytime. And boom, now it's day. Cool. Someone will have to clean this up. I'll get Thurston to clean it up. That'll be fine. Okay, let's head over to the shop, to the scrapyard now. Looks like we're a little low on fuel, though. Uh-oh. Let's see if we can refuel the truck. Seems that the truck is using more fuel now, maybe? I don't remember it uh, being such a fuel hog, but luckily it only takes water, so the bill's not too expensive. So let's see. Where can I flip this thing on? Oh, yes. That's right. I came up with this cool idea of filling up the truck. Very basic thing, but, you know, you just open the valve, close the valve, and you're done. Perfect. It's already full. Beautiful. All right, kids, this is going to take a whole lot of flooring, so let's get rolling. Takes a little bit of a little bit of a push here to get up the the bridge. There we go. The little ramp to get. Oh, oh my god! 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 Oh, my god. oh, oh okay. And just a little, just a little bit of gas, and that boom. See, that's all it took. That's all you have to do. Very easy game, Hydronier. Very easy. No need to panic. No need. No need to panic. Okay, let's drive back over to the uh, scrapyard and see this bed burn, and I'll show you inside the other store. So today's episode, I'm showing you all the things that are new, 
and it's good to see a new update and then we're going to start getting into uh, some new big ideas now what we can do is our big conveyor system and our auto gem sorter and other things that we've already started we can easily upgrade with the new upgraded equipment it's a really easy thing to do easy 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 very simple easy e easy 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 very easy see very simple very easy Okay, let's uh, go back to the uh, scrapyard now. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go to the scrapyard and drop this bed off. Now, I don't have any cash with me to buy any new stuff, but at least we can take a look at it. So that'll be muy bueno, as they say in France. Raptor is making a joke. It is comedic, because in France, they primarily speak French, and the Spanish language is spoken by South America. Okay. Cool. Now, let's go on back to the town. I like taking this way, because I like seeing this future plot of land that we might have. I like driving over here and just seeing it. Because this is actually the former... Um, actually, I think this is the new site. I can't remember. We'll have to go take a look at our other sites later. Let's go over this jump. Okay. Oh, I thought the truck could go up over a little bit of an edge. I'm getting more excited to see what the truck's physics are. I'm testing it out mostly because uh, things are new. And I want to see if it actually can go over more stuff. But it looks like the vehicles are relatively unchanged. So for using that big old truck, it's not as useful as you'd think it is yet. Not yet. Soon, though. Soon. All right. Let's go over to the new shop and take a look at what's new here, and then we'll drop off the bed. So we got ourselves the Goliath drill, the Ram drill. There's where you can get the funnel. All the stuff is purchased here inside this town. I'm going to call this uh, Scrapterville. And uh, Scrapter here is going to drop his scrap off at the scrapyard, so that's going to be good. We have our scales, too. I may have mentioned that inside the uh, house. You can actually weigh your stuff before you go out and uh, sell it, so you can find out how much it's going to get you before you leave. So if you need, let's say, you're trying to get $5,000, or let's say you're trying to get 14500 in the game so you can get your throne, then you'll be able to easily go over to the, uh, oh, you sell your stuff before you actually do it. So that'll be a good thing. All right, let's see this thing burn, baby. Burn, baby, burn. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, look at all this old scrap. Oh, there's tracks and stuff. That's interesting. All right, now, how do we do this? Uh, there we go. Cool. Now, do we get cash for that? Oh, we get, oh, we get little pieces of scrap. Excellent. Can be smelted into a scrap bar. <gasps> All right, there's a new resource now that we can do stuff with. So we don't get money from it. We get a scrap metal, which can be turned into a scrap bar. Now, I've seen the whole email on this, so I'll have to remember what things do which. But uh, if you remember, you can let me know down below. Tell me all the ticks, tips and tricks and things that you've learned through watching me play Hydroneer. And our live stream, too, of things that we've found out afterwards that I may have forgotten. All right, let's back out here. And let's... Uh, Actually, oh, I thought there was... There should be a fast travel in this game. I'd like there to be an option for that. All right, let's go back to... It's the wrap yard. Not the scrap yard. It's the wrap yard. That's my, that's my house. That's where all the things go to die. Okay, let's uh, head back home. All right, home sweet home, finally. Let's go ahead and head on in and see what's going on inside. All right, so now I want to basically uh, add the scrap to this thing and see exactly what goes on. We have a lot to learn, so let's see here. Oh, uh, boy, where'd my scrap go? Where's my car? Oh, yeah, I parked it out on the street. Okay, now that the whip is here, let's see what happens when we turn scrap metal into a scrap bar. I wonder if it just gives us regular iron. Let's see. Well, that immediately turned into something. Okay, let's go ahead and grab ourselves the uh, little pan here and dump it in. There we go. Oh, nice. So it actually turns into an iron bar. It's not just scrap. It seems to look like iron. Oh, no, it's a scrap bar can't be used in crafting interesting well we'll be able to sell it then so we can't use this to make anything but we can take scrap smelt it into something and then it could probably be recycled when we sell it so it uh, looks a little different than your standard iron bar so if i was to take all this stuff smelt it it will look different so that's kind of cool all right and then of course our gem cutter now let's see how much our biggest gem costs let's see this giant what looks to be an emerald here plop that bad boy down and see how much we would make for it so we would make 72 hydro coins or is it 720 i don't know i think he removed the uh i don't i don't know exactly how it works but anyway let's go ahead and see how much does it if we add both of these does it add up everything together let's see cool oh it does all right so if we make a jewel like if we make a necklace or something out of this it'll show everything together that will be awesome well, I, for one, am absolutely thrilled with this uh, ability to weigh things like jewelry, and it'll be hilarious to put a giant sword on there and see exactly how that goes. Good, good. This is getting me excited for a live stream on this one, because then I can showcase how everything works. So if you haven't subscribed and turned on notification bells, make sure you do, 
So that way you can see uh, all this stuff in action. Why do we have uh, shards floating here? You know how it is after updates. Things get broken, I guess. All right, with one more uh, thing of gold, I suppose I could uh, probably... I'm going to do this manually because it's a little safer. I'll get the big chunks out. But let's go ahead and try to weigh a necklace and see exactly how that works. So there's so much more stuff here in this game. I did not mean to kick that in there. Drop kicking the crucible <laughs> into the furnace. There we go. Let's try that again. You know what would be really cool? I'm excited for future items that Max might come up with uh, for us to make out of gold and iron and stuff. It'd be cool, really cool to see, like, a, for example, a sword made of gold with jewels in it or perhaps a sword made of iron. Uh, that we can actually, like, use uh, that is made of gems or something like that. I don't know what we would use the sword for, but it'd be cool to, like, cut watermelons or something. I don't know. All right, all these are really small pieces, so that might work in the funnel. Let me uh, go ahead and put this here, and we'll uh, leave that one there for now. Uh, so as soon as that's done, we're going to need our baking pan, as I call it. It always reminds me of making bread or something like that. It's always like a little bread pan or something. And then uh, as soon as that's done, then we should be able to swing these two together. We'll use our big O... Boy, how much is this gem worth again? Now, let's do this right now. Let's let's take a second here to figure out what's going on. That's 69. Nice. 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 Let's try this one. That was 69. This is 72. All right, so we'll go for the uh, big O gem then. This big bad boy. So we'll set that on the floor for now. A safe area to store things. You know, the floor. And then let's go ahead and dump this into our mold. Beautiful. And now we can make hot pockets, as I call them. This is when we uh, dump the... Uh, gold bars into the fire let them heat up so that way we can actually uh, form them and then one more uh, around here somewhere oh yes over on our fancy table there we go all right so now both of these are in and we'll be able to get some gems and then cut them this is very simple by the way uh, this gem here for example would just be covered in a clump of dirt and then we just bring it to here and then it would cut it uh, but it doesn't work at the moment because it's already done so everything that there is to do out of it we're good to go let's go ahead and set the anvil to be a uh Necklace. I just wanted to see if there's anything else there. Let's go ahead and get ourselves the little gem ready to go. Gem, what are you doing? Come here now. You're being a chaos emerald right now. Sonic is going to get mad. Come on, I keep dropping it right there. Let's very carefully. Oh my god. <laughs> it does not want to go on there, does it? All right, that should be that should be good right there. All right, we'll pretend that didn't happen right here. There we go. All right, perfect. Now, let's grab ourselves our hammer. And we'll set that down here for a second. And we'll set these two very hot pockets out. It'd be kind of funny if uh, Max allowed us to get oven mitts or something to deal with these. It'd be kind of funny. You know what be really funny is if they were oven mitts, Matt, I, Max, I know you're watching right now. I almost called them Matt. Max, make them look like little piranhas that have uh, bit somebody's hands. You know what I mean? There we go. And there's our jewelry, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you can make like thousands and thousands of these and make millions and millions of dollars. Very easy to do. But, uh, you know. It's all good. Wow. A thousand dollar necklace. And then we can do that over and over and over again with all the jewels that are here. These probably would be an extra thousand as well. Probably 500, 200, a couple of things like that. Very nice. Very good. So we'll load that up into the truck. Or we could leave it in. I wonder if we could put it in the safe for safekeeping. Let me see. <gasps> can we put it in there? Oh, it's way too big, I guess. Well, whatever. We'll leave it on our fancy table. It's not like we're going to get robbed. Okay. So a left click and you can just open that. You don't have to do anything with the safe dial as I thought. Alright, let's put our crucible back for now. And uh, now, let's see if we can go sell this thing. I'd like a thousand dollars. We're gonna go back over to our tool bench. There we go. And let's go sell this thing. I usually like to walk, though Max has made the path a little uh, wider. We can sell this, as far as I know, at two places. Either the Viking village behind us that we take the little janky bridge to go to the other, um, the other shop or up here at the uh, little castle. Very easy to do. Of course, we can drop it in the well and stuff like that. Max has showed me all the secrets, too. It's a good privilege of having a developer as a friend, I guess. He'll tell you everything there is to know. As Max is making the game, he knows everything. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that must be me. Another statue of me. Yes, of course. Or is that a girl? That doesn't matter. It looks like me. It's pretty like me. Is that is that somebody? It's a girl up there. Is there... A, oh, I thought that would be somebody's name. That might be new. Oh, well. Maybe, maybe it's waifu. Oh, Max's girlfriend. Let's see. All right, 2965 because of the market trading value. That's awesome. Price of uh, necklaces is down, but it's the most expensive thing here on the list. So we made almost $3,000. That's crazy. For one necklace. So that means if we sold more of these things, we'd probably be up somewhere around 50000 And then after doing that a few times, we'd probably be up to like a quarter million, half million. And then the big O million, too. The bridge looks really nice. Good job, Max. 
All right, where's our coins? I think they're over here at the shop. Let's put it all together and see what we got. Bippity boppity boo. And let's see here. We've got ourselves $7,000. Excellent. We're about halfway to our throne then, so maybe I can make that the goal of the uh, of the next um, video or something like that. So what we'll do is anybody who becomes a new member throughout this video, I will put your name in a hat and we will name the throne after you. That'd be a good idea. We'll call it uh, such and such as throne. Check this out. We can actually put a little gem here. Let's try that with this one. The nice ruby sitting there. Is there a... Oh, look at that. We can put it on display. That's so cool. So if you get a big gem, you can put it on display. Very nice. We can decorate our home with all sorts of things. This is like a little makeshift workshop, kind of weird little like fancy house, but not quite. Now that we got other things to build, I definitely want to go do that. This is a great spot to start building a house, by the way, because there's perfect amount of land here and perfect stuff to mine. As well as we got to work on the other side, too. So much to do, so little time. You know how it is in Hydranir. Oh, man, there is uh, so much to see, too. Okay, it looks like everything's been placed. Okay, looking good. I want to try this uh, crucible again with all these little, uh, all these little uh, jerks here. These these uh, gold bits that have embarrassed me. Ah, oh, can't believe they would do that. Do such a thing. Let's try to put that right underneath there. Okay, the crucible is pretty good. All right, now let's see if we can gently load this onto the thingy. All right, there's the green circle. So hopefully. All right, well I'm in close. Honestly, I think I could just do it better by hand. Oh my god, even the, even the crucible tipped over. Okay, let's load the rest of these in here. We'll go make like a, uh, a ring or something like that with all these smaller ones. The big ones are easy to make into a big necklace, but these are just good for uh, any sort of... Wow, I feel like I'm putting popcorn back into a bowl. It's hilarious. Or a little bucket or something like at the movie theater. I feel like I'm working at the theater. <gasps> Another good thing is uh, to show copyrighted movies in the game. That'd be awesome. That'd be a great move for Max, is to show copyrighted movies, like, at a drive-in. We can go to a drive-in with our car. That'd be awesome. <gasps> that might be a good way to show the tutorials, Max. Oh, my God. So many cool ideas from Max and his community and his Discord and everything like that. Everybody's so awesome. So lovely. Let's drop another little piece of gold in there. There we go. I probably missed some more. Yep, there's another one. They're all over this place. There we go. And all that lovely new music, too. Okay, let's make a ring next, just because I want to make one for fun. We'll make one out of this, uh, let's make one with this little ruby here and see what we can do. It seems like the gems, or the emeralds, give me a little bit more, so let's try to make a ring just for fun. Now, the question is in this game, once you've got all the automated systems set up, you know, for example, automated gen gem sorters that uh, sort things like iron ore or gems or shards or whatever, once you've got all that set up, the future is we need a way to store those items and we need a way to auto create those items so that way we can like automatically uh, have those go into a smelter. So it'll be really cool when Max gets this game up to the level to where we can actually like make it uh, like satisfactory or something like that where you know we can have these giant mines. But the resources unlike in satisfactory are not finite. They're uh, or th these are finite, not infinite. Infinite in satisfactory, finite here. They run out eventually. So for you to set up all your time and money making a giant conveyor belt only to have the mine disappear in 10 seconds might be a problem too. So we'll see. I'll need a place to put this thing when it's nice and red hot like this. Uh, maybe over here. There we go. We'll set it next to our scrap. So we have scrap bars. Oh, there's so many cool things. I love my house too, by the way. I wish there was more things to decorate with. A, uh, a picture of me, Max, would be great. Uh, just, just put... Put the uh, the old raptor on the uh, the chicken and such, just like the foul ball hangover. Oh my god, I'll never get that name right. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! Ring, ring, ding dong, ring a ding ding. Cool. All right, now we have ourselves a beautiful ring too. I do, I do. All right, wonderful. Okay, let's go trade this out too and see how much we'll make. Very uh, simple base for me to play, but I played like just t like almost a hundred hours of this game so far. Probably not really, but it feels like it. With all the things that you can do in Hydranir, there's so many things to do. Build a base, build an automated factory, go mining, go to other plots and start all over again with better equipment. Really gives me the feel of what I wanted from games like Gold Rush. Rings are up to 52. Let's see how much we make from that. 934, almost another thousand. That's amazing. Very good. That's really amazing. So I think our total money is up to like $8,000. Beautiful. So I'm more than halfway on the way to buying that throne. Yeah, Raptor doesn't actually fight for his throne or anything like that. He actually just, um, yeah, he uh, he just, yeah, he just, he just buys the throne. You know what I mean? All right, guys, that is it for today's episode. 
Stay tuned for today's live stream of Hydraneer. If you enjoyed this, make sure you go ahead and check out the live stream that should be scheduled for today. So that way you can go ahead and turn on the reminder for this and future live streams of other games. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks to Max for early access to the update. I'll be uh, coming back for other things too. We got other projects, so let me know what you want to see down below in the comment section. Automated factories. Tell me what I should do. You should, and then tell me what I should do down below. You guys are amazing. Thank you as always for the support. And I'll see you all next time. Look, I have a little stairwell here, and i, <laughs> I got to get rid of that little iron there. Goodbye, everybody. Take care. Have a great day. Thanks again, Max, for all the support to us creators. And I hope we're supporting you equally as well. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.